good morning good morning it is 4 30 a.m on the button we've got a busy busy day we've got to get out to the big truck get it fired up going we've got to go move a curb machine down the road on that asphalt job it's too far to walk it so we're gonna transport it and then get back toward our side of town and make a whole bunch of other moves some stuff I've never done before so gonna be interesting gonna be a good productive day I'm working on getting woke up I hope all of y'all are doing the same I hope everybody has a good day productive day and I'm making money day so we're gonna get on down the road let's get to it we're here I'm a little early that's okay. Rather be early than late. I'm gonna get this truck and trailer separated. Get it ready. Oh, there's a wood duck. Pretty. And wait on my guys. This is what they worked on yesterday. What we're gonna do is load this machine up and just we're staying on site we're just moving it down the road a little ways and typically all of this stuff we would tear it all apart push it in compact the machine that way it would fit eight feet wide on the trailer we're not going to do that we're leaving it just like it is we're going to load it up i'm not even going to chain it down we're going to ease down the road with it and drop it at its next location it's just it's too far to walk it they would spend better than an hour walking it down the road and this is a track machine and walking track machines is high maintenance so a lot easier to come out here throw it on the truck ease it down the road drop it off they go back to work i get the heck out of here and continue on my day So we've got a plan. Famous last words. We've got a truck in front of me, Daniel over here. Got a truck behind me, keeping people off of me. I'm going to make a move here. And now I got my rear truck coming around me to block traffic. Go, Tony, go. got that Toyota in the way. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Yes, ma'am. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Now it's one-way traffic. All I need my driver behind me to do is keep people off of me. That guy's gonna take off, go open a hole in the barrels where I need to be. And it is working out perfectly. See what I mean? Daniel without a hard hat. Let me get out and investigate. But we made it. So 
So, I just realized some of my last video was in time warp. That kind of stinks because that was what I would consider an exciting morning. Hopefully not all of it. Hopefully just one or two shots. But moving from that job to the next, I had to pass the yard. And I went ahead and decided to pull in because my morning routine was off a little bit. If you know what I mean. Because I left out extra early. Swung through the yard. While I was here, I got a phone call. Someone abandoned a trailer at the Love's truck stop. And it needs to be picked up today uh, before it gets, you know, I don't know, towed or whatever. So, since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and drop the trailer, run up to Love's, grab that reefer unit, take it to wherever they want me to take it, drop it, come back here, grab the trailer, and continue on about my day. So, let's do it. Well, we're here. Easy little 10 minute run down the road. That just absolutely worked out perfect. Hopefully the rest of it works out just as perfect. We still don't have the information on the unit. But we do know it's a reefer unit and it has a lock on it. So we're just going to look around and oh there it is right there guaranteed i'm gonna get out and look well that's definitely it there's no way it's not we're gonna get started send me all the information I don't know where the key is hidden I still don't have the information we're gonna start looking for a key they said it was a reefer unit with a lock on it my guess is this is the only reefer unit with a lock on it in this parking lot well the reefer unit's not running so I'm assuming this thing is empty all right we're searching for a key get back with you all right so got the reefer unit I don't know how that happened that was just perfect timing we're not going to bring it to its delivery today because that is Orlando Florida and I am not fooling with Orlando I-4 at 10 o'clock we're gonna take it to our yard plus they don't even know where it drops yet all they know is it drops in uh in orlando they're still trying to get approval for payment the whole nine yards but it had to get out of the loves parking lot by today or loves was gonna have it uh towed I guess confiscated. I don't know what the heck you call it. I hope I can fit in my yard with it. My trailer gets in and out, but I don't have the height this thing has. So, we're going to have to see about that. I'm going to take it to our yard, drop it somewhere. Oops. Door just opened up on the reefer. i got to stop and fix that. We'll stop here, fix that, and get to the yard and drop this thing. Well, this guy stopped in the road, picking up trash. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, we don't want any of that. Good eye.
So, good eye on him. No one wants a flat tire, but. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. The road to hell was paved with good intentions. <laughs> so we're getting ready to pull into my yard. A little nervous. Both trailers are 53 feet. These axles are slid forward further than mine, so that's an advantage. But this thing is tall. I've a, obviously, I've got a low boy. How about a camera in your lap? Let's try that again. I will work on some kind of a setup for that. I've got some low overhanging trees that we're going to have to be real careful on. So, we're just going to take our time and move it in the right direction. I'm going to roll down windows. I don't know why. It just feels good. Feels like it's going to help. Readjusting my mirrors so that I can see the top of the trailer. I've got to get way over by this fence. Oh, I think we're going to make it. Good thing I widened the driveway. Run this mirror out. So far, so good. Oh, baby. Back in here, mirror. Ha <laughs> ha! Those axles being slid forward definitely help. Most definitely. Now I gotta find a place to put it, store it overnight. We know it goes to Orlando. Waiting on approval for payment. But now that it's in my possession, I guess what are they gonna do? Not pay me? <laughs> it's okay. Storage fees. I know exactly where I'm gonna put it. I think. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing, man. Maybe. All right. I had a group of Boy Scouts out here over the weekend. They wanted a bonfire. There it is. So we gotta get this bad boy clean looking. Get her unhooked. Ah, get out of there. Just gonna lay them there. Start getting this landing gear down. back up had to air my bags back up to rehook I dumped them to get off of that reefer units over there waiting on them to tell me what they're gonna pay to deliver it kind of went out on a limb there but the guy's been treating us well it's been paying good for this kind of stuff so I know it's gonna pay good and besides it's now here 
So, there's that. We got to get back in this ride and continue what we were out to do to begin with. Hustle, 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 hustle. Never stop hustling. And you will always come out ahead. It was stroke of luck. I just so happened to pull back into the yard on my way to the, after the curb machine, I was headed to pick up a motor grader, had to pass the yard. And while I was here, we got a phone call. So made that move real quick. It was probably 45 minutes something like that not bad moving on we'll get the rest of our day done we're here we got to get a motor grader we got to do it in the middle of the road there's the grader we're gonna try to make this quick we'll see how it goes Is easier with help. Get over there. We get this rascal backed in here, chained down, and moved. We got to get this, two more rollers, a loader with forks, or actually a root rake, and a Mini backhoe. I think maybe I should stop at the racetrack. Well, we're here. Got the truck unhooked. We'll jump in this motor grader. Already unchained. Just got to get these ramps out. <laughs> If I remember correctly, this machine does not require a key, but we brought our keys anyway. This baby is brand spanking. Woo. Let's climb up in here and see what we can do. I don't know. She takes a key. Oh, AC. When I was running heavy equipment, that did not exist. Let's see what we can do here. Put the ride along. So a motor grader has six reverses. This particular one and eight forwards so we got to push it down we'll put it in one to get off the trailer ease 
off those fenders nice and slow. back up and climb down and always lock the cab if it's lockable back to the truck for another round next round we're gonna get two rollers they're small so we can get them both on the trailer it's tight we gotta touch them but they'll go we're going to bring those here then we have to go back and get a front loader and a set of root rakes the root rakes are going to a job a few miles that way we're leaving it there and the loader is going 15 20 miles the other direction then we got to come back and get a little rubber track track over and What's happening? That should be the end of our day. I would like to thank Miss Ashley for sending me to work with some survival food. I would be. I'm hungry. It's going to be another non stop day. Well, we did stop for fuel. I could have got something in, but. I don't what is, what's your options pizza or a hot dog dear god I'd like to make it past 50 
All right, so that's what this looks like. Chain pulling to the rear. Chain pulling to the front. Chain pulling to the rear. Chain pulling to the front. I've never chained one of these down before, but like anything else, you just look at it and figure it out. Plus we got the roller pushed up against it. None of this is going anywhere. We gotta take this and drop it off at one job where we just dropped the motor grader. We're taking this right around the corner to a different job. And then we will be back. Let's get it rolling. Can't wait to see fenders on you, sweetheart. Okay, the roller is off. Now our next move. Right here. They keep getting their barrels closer and closer and closer. So we've got to, oh crap, now they got a car there. Run off the road here. Yeah, you're gonna have to move. idea what you want to do that's why they need the root rake all those trees do a little bit of off-roading don't run over his cooler hopefully I don't get stuck good to go Ooh, tearing up the grass. Of course, they're going to tear it all up anyway, I guess. So, we got to get one of these machines to get this off. I don't know if that machine will handle it. This thing's heavy. But we're going to get it unchained and get working on it. That guy right there is a super cool guy. He's a superintendent for Hinkleman Construction. I met him over at a different job, Publix. But uh, that went well. Came right off of there. That 315 has got some, some booty. We're gonna get on out of here and go get a front loader. Let's go. This is a tight one. And we got a lawn mowing man down here. Got to run over in these people's yard. Keep them hitting the stop sign. Baby. He's missing a tire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> inches, inches, inches. That's all it takes sometimes is inches. Gotta stay over here. Way over here. I wish that trash can wasn't there. Oh yeah, we're good. The rest is just low limbs and speed humps. I gotta watch that. 
cab of that loader. Well, the loader is where it belongs. I've got one more to go. Thank goodness, because my go-go is starting to turn into a no-go. Well, we didn't lose it. It held in there. <laughs> Good deal. Well, that's it for the day. We were going to deliver this one, but we've been fighting that for hours. I still got my headlights on. I'm whooped. I think that's machine number six. We're going to get up early deliver that one and uh, go move another one real early we're gonna get this one out of here before daylight just got the approval on that so that'll probably be headed to Orlando tomorrow and uh, that's that we appreciate y'all tuning in and watching our little daily routine here hope everybody enjoyed it and uh we'll see you next time